Hello everyone, we're looking at another Siemens phone. This is the Siemens C60. And what is interesting about this is that there was also a model named A60, which was, well, looking pretty much the same. And uh, if you opened it inside, it would be exactly the same. But as the name suggests, it was a little bit different category of a phone. So on the outside, it would actually have fewer differences, or like fewer functions compared to the C60. But the interesting is that from the inside, they were exactly the same. So you could buy a cheaper A60 and turn it into the C60 because all those differences were only software based. Mm, but this is the actual real C60 we have here. And uh, this is what it looks like, all made of plastic. Buttons also plastic this time, so it should make for some better experience during typing messages, I believe. Let's take a look inside. This is the original Siemens uh, lithium ion battery. Underneath we have a SIM card over here and the phone itself was made in Denmark. That's interesting. I didn't know that Siemens had a factory in Denmark. That must have been expensive. Well, uh, this is the year 2003, by the way, which you will see it in the subtitle anyway. So I'll open it. Um, if we take a look around, we only have a system connector down at the bottom. It's a system connector, but you also put a charger in there and very much nothing else. No buttons left or right, nothing at the top either. Maybe you would put your lanyard into this. Not, not exactly sure. Let's turn it on. Yeah, the screen. It's colorful screen, but yeah. I have to confirm that I really want this to be turned on. The screen itself, not so good. It's flickering a bit. And the camera I can see. It's not doing that in real life. Yeah, unfortunately, like there's some seems to be some kind of interference in the um in the frequency. Uh never mind. You could have oh yeah, <laughs> there we go. I was just gonna say that you could have a wallpaper on the screen. You can see this is some kind of like a 3D rendering of Kenny. Kenny McCormick from South Park or something. Uh, the battery is full because I've just charged it. Uh, we don't have any network here going on. So yeah, it's going to be searching, but the card rejected. As we can see, uh, the keypad backlight is orange. Kind of a strange combination, but yeah, we can probably work with that. And, well, there's not that much going on in this phone, so let's just jump into it. This is the main menu. It's in the 3x3 matrix of icons, which is quite nice. Starts with messages, but we will take it from the top left-hand corner. So, first we have phone book. I should probably actually not open phone book. Ah, I can do it, but I will not scroll further because this phone as you can see, it's been used, and all the data, all the personal data of the previous owner um, are still in this phone. So I have to be really careful about what I'm opening. So obviously, you can create a new entry in a contact list. You can add a number, a name, an email address. Uh, what are the groups? Family. Okay, something <laughs> local. Uh, those are friends. Uh, number nine, I'm not sure what it refers to. It could be something related to school. This is also uh, school, so <laughs> never mind. Uh, let's go to the call records. So we have missed calls, received calls, and dias calls, and you can delete everything. We have duration and charges. So the last call. Okay, I'll go in calls. This phone has not been called very much with, obviously, four minutes. 
18 seconds. That's not, that's not too much. Incoming calls, 1 minute 46 seconds. I guess this phone was mostly used for texting, probably, but we don't have any uh, text message counters here, so we can only presume. We have Surf and Fun, and in there, there's a browser by OpenWave. Network down. Yeah, we noticed. So yeah, it's a, just a regular web browser. You can you can guess. Yeah, there we go. Bookmarks, internet. Uh, okay, what's the difference? <laughs> I'm not sure. These all these things. There'll be some bookmarks in there. Definitely, the internet itself is probably going to be the same thing. Yeah, just opens a browser with a, a slightly different page. So there we go. And we have games and more. That could be interesting. So these two are the preloaded games, if I remember correctly. Yeah, definitely a stack attack and magic picture probably as well. So let's take a look at stack attack first. Uh, this is a game that also used to be on the previous black and white screen uh, Siemens phones. I remember this game, it was quite fun. I think that it was also on the ME45 that I was showing in some of my, uh, one of my previous videos, I guess. So let's take a look at options. Uh, instructions. Oh, there's a lot of instructions going on. Settings. Uh, let's make sure we have sounds. We do have sounds. We have illumination. Silent alert. That's vibration. Probably. I'm not sure what silent alert is supposed to be. I guess it's vibration. Uh, vibration. Having a vibration on is pointless in a, in a video anyway. So we can just start the game. I can jump one box a high and uh, move one box. Uh, and it's going on. So we have characters. That's a new thing. I can move two boxes. I can. Okay, it's going on. on. I can jump twice as high. Um, let's start with the default character, I guess. So we'll be able to remove it anyway. What's going on? Please wait. Oh, okay. We are in the game. So, yeah, it's a regular stack attack that we know. Oh, how do I... This was weird. I was pressing the buttons, but it wasn't reacting. Maybe I cannot use the the number buttons. I don't know. But I just got stuck here. Okay, that's great. The only thing I can do is let this box fall down. Maybe I can then jump and do this. Maybe no. There we go. I have one row down. Great. Well, this is a fun game, simple, but yeah, I can spend some time with it. Not bad. Oh, and good. Um, the other one is Magic Picture. I'm afraid this is going to be just a, like a puzzle thing, which is not that much fun on mobile phones in general, let's face it. Yeah, as, as this splash screen suggests, it's definitely this thing. So. Continue restart. Somebody was playing it already. Uh, ABC Dolphin Fish Pizza. Let's do pizza. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Easy. Easy should be easy, right? This is easy. Are you kidding me? It may sound, but like this is no way easy. And yeah, if you take a look at it, it looks like, a, I don't know, a slice of pizza, maybe a whole pizza. But I can't really be bothered playing this to the end, so I'm sorry. I must leave now. Magic picture. Oh dear. Oh, uh, I guess if you really, you know, have to wait somewhere for a very long time, if you're in a car, stuck in a car for a very long time, maybe you will play magic picture, but yeah, that's very, very tedious in my opinion. Uh, we have ringtones. 
separately in the main menu. And one thing about the ringtones, normally I do a separate video. I will do a separate video on this one as well, but the problem is there aren't any of the original ringtones in this one. The previous owner deleted them all and replaced them with, uh, with his own ringtones. So there are only some downloaded melodies. I wonder how he actually got them there because it doesn't have any uh, computer connectivity. This is, yeah, this is, uh, well, this port is not used basically for connecting to the computer, at least not with this phone. And, oh, okay. So silent alert is a vibration. And what I was gonna say, it doesn't have Bluetooth or infrared port or anything like that. So it must have been downloaded somewhere from the internet. And the only internet connection is that web browser, which we were looking at before. So, oh, interesting. Uh, we have volume set up, which is, this is obviously the, uh, the theme from the Adams family. <laughs> Great. Okay. We're going to have some fun with this. Um, general setup group tones. Okay, these are the same groups that we could see also in uh, the phone book. Good. Other tone. Yeah. There we go. So we have some alarmed. Yeah, opens the same list. Yeah. Mm, and message tone. What is the message tone? X-Files, okay. <laughs> uh, I'll do a separate video on this. As I said, unfortunately, you are not gonna hear the original ringtones with this one. And maybe you will be able to find some, some, some other videos on YouTube with these ringtones. Um, hopefully, we'll see. Uh, finally, we're getting to messages. So let's, let's try and type a message. Um, what options do we have, by the way, when it comes to the language? This is the entry mode, not one I was looking for. Uh, so maybe we will take a look here. We've got save, send, picture and sound. Okay, this is EMS, by the way. There's some EMS sounds as well. So I add that at least to the ringtone video. Um, format, clear text, T9 input. There we go. Input language, there we go. So we have English, German, Czech, Polish, Hungarian, Slovak, and uh, Greek, <laughs> sorry, I forgot uh, for a while what it is. Yeah, this is a Greek language. Um, only English and German are available when it comes to T9, which is interesting. So let's try and type a message. Hello. Yeah, you kind of have to press it a little bit harder, but those are plastic keys, so this is actually very good. This... Yeah, press one for space, there you go. Is just a test. Mm -hmm. So please don't, no. okay, once more, don't panic. Should end over here. Yeah. Full stop. Hello, this is just a test, so please don't panic. Nice. Mm, yeah, typing, not bad. The phone seems fast enough. If you press the end key, it asks you whether you want to save the message. We say no, we don't need this. Uh, we also have an MMS editor. Oh, maybe that was one of the differences that the A60 that I mentioned at the beginning didn't support MMS. Maybe, I don't really know what the difference was between those two phones because this phone doesn't do a whole lot either. Okay, and we have predefined text. Okay. <laughs> and it shows some obscenities. Okay, that was not really great. I shouldn't have opened that. Um... Never mind. So those of you who can understand the language, you could probably see what was going on for the rest of you. I'm sorry for that. Um, 
okay. It's just different uh, folders and yeah, we can just go away. <laughs> okay, this caught me of off guard, really. Um, now I don't know what to say anymore. Good. Uh, camera, yeah. We don't have a camera on this phone, so what is it going to be? Nothing. No camera connected. You could buy a separate uh, accessory, you know, an additional camera. I should remind you, it was nine. Uh, it was two thousand three, so uh, that was expected. Um, okay. So that was an additional camera, I guess. Uh, VGA resolution, something like that, and then you could open it from here. It's quite interesting to have a dedicated item in the main menu for something that you cannot use immediately, that you actually have to connect something to. But on the other hand, we had um, also phones that had radio, and also radio would not work unless you uh, connected uh, a set of headphones. So, um, technically, not that much of a difference between the two, right? Anyway, uh, camera. I don't have a camera, by the way, for this phone, so cannot really show you, unfortunately. Uh, we have extras uh, with kind of nicely done icon of a old school alarm clock. So there's probably going to be an alarm clock, of course. Yeah, the first option is a SIM toolkit. We don't need to go there. Then there's alarm clock on off like this. When you set the time, it also shows you the current time of the phone, um, which now says 2 a.m. That's not true. Never mind. That's it. I thought that these phones could also select uh, days on which uh, the alarm should recur. Now, this phone doesn't do that. This is interesting. I've got calculator, which is also just a standard affair, I guess. Huh. We have multiple buttons doing the same thing. Ah, uh, okay. So camera works. And we've got stopwatch. Stopwatch seems to work just fine. And that's it. Okay, we have stopwatch, for example, we don't have a countdown timer of any kind. That is interesting. You know, some functions we do have, others we don't. Own stuff, that's basically a file explorer. So we can go into pictures. I'll find some obscenities in the pictures, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, considering, considering the previous owners and, you know, the stuff that we just found in the message templates. So maybe it's a bit risky. You know what? This is supposed to be Cartman, obviously. So I'll open this one. That should not be too, too risky. Oh yeah, it's a little animation. It took quite a long time to open, by the way. If you noticed, I guess you did. <laughs> what is this even, Kenny? That's probably uh, the wallpaper that we have. Yeah, so the, he, he is in his full beauty before they kill him. <laughs> Again, you know, some of the names of these files. If you can read the, the language, you probably know what's underneath. Um, I cannot really open anything else, you know, just risking. Okay, this one is good. It's not like the worst screen for the time. You can still kind of see what's going on. But it was definitely not the best. Uh, Nokia phones had better screens, mostly. Uh, but also more expensive, to be fair. Okay, then we have some EMS animations and some sounds. Again, again, we are going to go through these sounds separately. And in the setup, we have all the settings. So this is going to be boring now. But we have profiles. Uh, what is interesting about profiles and Siemens phones is, you, is that you could no longer change uh, the ringing melodies. No, that was not what it was meant for. It was interesting. In display, you would change the language, probably the same language as, as uh, in message typing. So we have English, German, Pol Czech, Polish, Slovak, 
Hungarian. Okay, that's different. No Greek going on here. I don't know why we have the option to actually type messages in Greek if there's no uh, language support for the menu. So uh, but that's fine. Yeah, okay, I don't have to understand everything, right? We have some color schemes. Uh, this is the red one, even though it looks more orange. And here's the blue one. Uh, oh, all right. This is not like a, you know, a scheme, like the full-on scheme. This is like in the early phones where you just change the color. Um, there were some other like skins or schemes or themes or whatever you would call it, like in the later Siemens phones where it would really change everything, you know, with your wallpaper and the background would just turn black or something. It's, it's different, but not in this phone. In the screensaver, yeah, this is actually nice. You just have a digital clock. You could see what time it is. Oh, I jumped off. Um, yeah, divert clock. So we have Buddhist year available for whatever reason. Um, nothing against the Buddhist year, but I don't think it would be very much useful here in Europe. And it's obviously, this is obviously a European phone. Connectivity, GPRS was supported, this is interesting, as you can see. And the security will be just those boring stuff. I jumped out again, that's strange. And network, yeah. So that's it. <laughs> that's all for this phone. Um... Yeah, nothing else very much. I can turn it off. So you can see what it looks like. It goes beep. Show some bubbles. My-siemens.com, which I don't think works anymore. There we go. That's the phone, Siemens C60. And now let's go for those ringtones and uh, hope you like the video. See you next time. Bye.